Hello, uh, this is Tina, and uh, in this video, I want to correct something which I talked about web.xml. Okay, I, I don't want to record the previous video, it's an uh, everything works fine just uh, sometimes you may think it's not that the best uh, way okay so let me point to you what it is okay everything works in last in last video but uh, here we can do better uh, last video I show you web.xml I think if uh, it's been uh, two or three weeks so far, okay, the last video when I record. So this, I may say something, the version of this XML file, okay, uh, the ver latest, ver the, the highest version I can find is uh, 4.0. I may say that, okay. Then um, our, uh, Home, we using the 4.5 4.0 as the dependency version which is the latest version this is the true latest version but doesn't match this one this is the 4.0 that's an uh, it works uh, pretty well and it works well uh, I didn't find any issues now and uh, at that time when I trying to find web.xml I using Google to search find the latest version and uh, yesterday again when i take a look at uh, uh, tomcat i just realized why don't i using this one the one i'm talking about is uh, this one uh, here let me go and uh, this is where i download uh, this is uh, the tomcat i extracted here in last video probably you see uh, um, put it in the downloads okay that was uh, for demo purpose but uh, this is the actual version I'm using in the uh, following videos and in the conf you will see a web.xml which is exactly the same thing we're gonna use for here so I'm thinking what that time I didn't find out I can using this one so then yesterday I went there and I took a look at the web.xml, sorry, okay, still not used to the um, MacBook. Oh, sorry, no, this one is not a good, this one is not a good, okay. This one that they have the version we have to use in the, using another tool, let's use in Visual Studio Code. Okay, so why not this one? Because this is web.xml, we can use exactly the, this, the version and the structure and here also config for XML and other things. So, and the, the here has the latest version, you see? I was uh, stupid. <laughs> so, we can just put it here. Okay, and uh, when we deploy, everything is fine. And I was surprised that the older version works, but it should support for, you know, it should, um, uh, provide the back uh, back uh, compatibility right and this one uh, it should be slash hello right we make a slash hello if it can find the hello world simulated then it works fine so hello world it just show the current time and uh, we just make a call to slash hello to see everything works okay and go here you put a hello everything works okay okay so uh, that's what I want to talk about or correct in this video and actually based on my experience okay based on my experience the really matters version okay is um, 2.5 because uh, when you are using a version which is uh, 2.5 and lower the default uh, setting for uh, ER expression is to be it's is set to disabled, which means uh, 
you if you want to use an ER expression in your GSP files, you have to enable it in every GSP file. Okay, and another way is you can change the version, the web app, this web.xml, the version to be 3.0, and it will be uh, set it to be true by default. That's the thing I actually had the problem, but others, if I using 3.0 or 4.0, I didn't see a very big, uh, I didn't see any problem or difference between them. Okay. It, it may have, but uh, when I use the, to use the, the functionality to build a web application, I didn't see the difference. Probably some of the features I haven't used in my application okay but if i run the issues i will let you know uh, later but anyway um it's a good way to find uh find to find the latest version of web.xml i can we can check again about this is the 10 version right and on i have a time 10 uh, 9 which is to test uh, if i can deploy jakarta server like into here i tested but it doesn't work that's why we have to use intent for this. And you can see this one is a 4.0 and this one is a 5.0. Oh. Now I actually learned a new thing. Okay. Oh, by the way, I forgot another thing. Um, you might have problem. Yes, you might have the arrow. The ID might say cannot recognize this URL. You can just right click. Okay, and it will show some option. You can fetch the source or you can just ignore. I choose ignore because when I try to fetch it, it cannot find. So I just ignore. But basically, base, but uh, eventually uh, it works, then it's fine. Okay, Okay. Uh, that's it for this video. And uh, thank you. See you next time. Bye-bye.